All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode. Uh, <laughs> we're out here, it's snowing, so I took the advantage of being able to see some tracks. And yeah, I'm, uh, I'm walking around out here, uh, just putting some miles down, really about 5,000 foot elevation. So um, I had a good tip that uh, about 4,000 to 5,500 foot is where a lot of sheds are being found. So shout out to that person on Facebook that shot me that. And I ain't going to name drop nobody, but good on you. I appreciate you for it. Uh, haven't seen much in the way of tracks, but um, there are some some around. Uh, there's bear movement, but some deer tracks, not nothing real large, you know. Uh, probably some younger ones that are moving around a bit too early. Uh, this area got pelted. I wasn't able to get up here the other day, and so now we're just here. Uh, man, hold on. So you know, a little bit of bear movement. The deer don't seem to be that large, but there's there's some tracks here. Um, I come across another one. I'll show you guys. Uh, it's snowing pretty good. I wasn't able to get up this far the last time. That was a couple days ago. So in between the last two storms we've had, we've got a lot of good rain, a lot of good snow. It's looking really good. Um, the man's needed and everything is just loving it. Everything is happy right now. Everything's really green. All your conifers are glowing. And so um, I'm just trying to see what I can see. The snow really gives us a real good opportunity and it's something that you should take advantage of. Not a lot of people like to be uncomfortable, but at the same time, you can see so much, right? Like a dirt track, you have to really know how to age it to know what it's worth and its value. A snow track on a day like this, I, I, it's fresh, like almost guaranteed like it's fresh. And if it ain't, you can tell and it's within a couple days. So like I'm loving every bit of this. This area had no snow. I mean, the snow was gone last week. So, I mean, I made it, 6,500 foot, 6,000 foot elevation, not five days ago. California is really, really um, happy right now, I would say. The forests are really, really happy, man. Can't get much better than this. So I'm gonna take you guys along. We'll see what else we can find. There's Killer. So before Killer ruins them, you can barely see a soft indentation here a pad and a couple of fronts uh, it's definitely old fresh powder is on top of it it's been a couple days since he was moving through here but he was definitely moving through here let me see if I could find another one that's decent oh man so here's one that kind of shows his pad a lot better Now there's a, a, a track through that, but as well, that is what it would look like to be the back foot of a bear to me. Um, when they're a little bit old, it's really obvious that they're old, but it's also hard to tell kind of how many days, because we've had snow for like the last 48 hours, pretty steady up here, a slush mix. So it's, uh, it, it's hard to say how many days ago, but it was recent and those footprint outlines do not resemble a human print to me. Well guys, it's um, I've been coming around here for a minute now and I'm not finding a whole lot looking for sheds, but you know how that goes. Uh, I'm getting into some really good areas that I haven't been to before, or at least in a while, long while, we're talking a season or two. And um, all in all, I'm really happy with what I'm seeing. We're getting a lot of fresh snow. I mean, I'm getting covered right now, as you guys can see. And uh, everything is just lush. I mean, everything is happy. Um, we have a mixture of oaks here, right? And so some of the oaks are not leafed up just yet. That cold temperature can really affect them there for them leafing out. Whereas the ones closer in the valley will leaf out a little bit sooner. Now, the reason I hang in these areas is because those young saplings and these oak groves as they intermix with these conifers is a hot spot for your sheds. It's a, uh, it's a place that a lot of people overlook uh, they go too high too fast and I'm guilty of it 
but uh, it's a, it's better to just kind of hang a little bit lower as I'm coming to find and uh, you increase your chances of finding stuff a lot that's what we're all out here to do right like I don't want to come up empty-handed every day scouting around I want to share a quick tip with you guys so as you're coming through these patches of bush and stuff make sure you're zigging back and forth because there's so much that can be hidden and gravity dictates where a shed falls when it goes to the ground so make sure you zigzag you'll cover a lot more ground that way it'll take a little bit longer and you won't get as far linearly but at the same time you just want to pick a very high value area and and really search it over i mean think as if you had lost your phone and you were looking for it so i'm just coming back and forth i'm i'm zigging and zagging and um it really really makes a difference in being able to cover territory and knowing that you didn't leave anything behind the more you know all right come on dog Right before she destroyed that track, I'm guessing that was a uh, a cat or a bear. She don't typically stay on deer like that. So, and I haven't seen any tracks for it. I have seen some that resemble bear. Um, and cats walk so lightly. I mean, you'd mistake it for a dog if you didn't know the toe count. But. All in all, we really didn't see much. We're getting back closer to the truck now. And it wasn't fruitless though, because I put feet down on the ground and that's important. You don't know what's out here if you're looking at a map all damn day. Them apps can only help you so much. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I just can't, whew. Kicks my ass every time. Wouldn't have it any other way though. It's in us, not on us. <laughs> 